What's up, Lore Masters? A consistent question I get is something pretty interesting. Namely, if I was to put a fleet together to fight the Dominion, what type of fleet would I field? It's something I've given some thought to, and I think I have the perfect counter to most Dominion tactics. Given the insane amount of diversity in Starfleet when it comes to its ships, I'd be interested what you think and what ships you would use. Before we can really get started, we have to look at the advantages of the Federation versus that of the Dominion. The main advantages of Starfleet include the Federation's building capacity in the Alpha Quadrant, significantly faster ships and warp capabilities, better engineers, and advanced sensor suites. Conversely, the Dominion ships are harder to kill and pack a significantly more powerful punch in weaponry. They also filled replaceable people, which is an insane advantage. Additionally, the soldiers of the Dominion are more regimented and built for war, while Starfleet officers didn't initially sign up for it. Now, the Federation may be able to exploit the fact that these soldiers are addicted to drugs, and we may get into that a little bit later. With all of this in mind, the core, the command and control center for the fleet, would have to obviously be the Galaxy-class starship. Now, this could range from one to three Galaxy-class starships, depending on the size of the fleet or if multiple fleets were working in tandem. The Galaxy-class feels like it was built for this singular purpose. The the Starship is customizable and has an exorbitant amount of space. It was also designed to try new experimental systems, which would be installed all the time. Additionally, saucer separation would allow for the ship to be in multiple places or to keep command personnel and VIPs safe while battle was occurring. Now, I do find the Galaxy class to be a glass cannon. It has extremely advanced shielding that, once broken, means that even a bird of prey can take it out. I do think it would be able to stand up in a fight, though, especially the Dominion War variants. The Galaxy class would have support vessels, of course, which include the Excelsior and Miranda class starships. The Excelsior would be utilized for its sensor suites and sturdiness. While the Galaxy class has more advanced sensors, it is limited where it can be. It would need to stay away from most of the fighting. This means that the Excelsior could be utilized for short-range sensor platform work or as a picket ship. Along with the Excelsiors, Mirandas would be utilized as basic defense of the inner core of the fleet. The Miranda would also be utilized as a workhorse used for defense, escort, and courier missions. The frontline ships are, of course, Acura-class starships, the best vessels in the fleet, by the by. These starships could be utilized to do most of the fighting, working in tandem with other ships. We know that at least one tactic by Starfleet is for the Acura to aggro two larger threats while the Defiance beat away at one significant one. We see this in the Voyager episode Message in a Bottle, where a Acura-class starship draws fire from two Dideradex-class starships, while two other Defiant-class starships hone in to disable a Prometheus-class starship. An Acura-Defiant wolf pack that forced enemy vessels to focus in on the larger Acura-class while they were just melted by Defiance is something that should scare most any enemy fleet away. During major engagements, these ships would also be supporting Sovereign-class starships. We know that Sovereigns were just beginning to be produced and were spread pretty thin, so this type of battle cruiser would be utilized for important battles sparingly. I think these three would go together really well, with Defiance and Acuras in the front lines, with the Sovereign using its massive weaponry systems to just destroy larger targets. A separate part of the fleet would be dedicated to search and destroy and recon. These task forces could be utilized to find and destroy where they refine the Ketracel White. The task force would comprise mostly Intrepid-class vessels with Nebula-class starship support. The sensor suites of both the Intrepid and the Nebula would give the ability to see most anything within a reasonable range. The extreme speeds of the Intrepid would make it the perfect scout, and a pack of Intrepid-class starships would work well for finding unsupported enemy vessels and eliminating the problem. They could also be utilized to disrupt supply lines and intercept incoming and outgoing messages, as I've stated. Now, this is what I would do if I had all of the ships that I wanted. However, given that this is a war, you don't always get exactly what you need. I would plug and play any other ship types where I couldn't find the vessel I wanted. The only other thing I would do is take all of my political opponents, Starfleet officers not loyal to my future reign, and put them on Oberths. I would then send these to the front lines. I'd get away with it too, because if you can send Oberths against a Borg cube, certainly I could kill my political enemies using these types of vessels. I mean, it's not just the necessary way, it's the Jane way. Do you get it? Cause she's so fucking evil. Can you believe they made her an admiral? I can't believe anyone would be an advocate of the Janeway character. 